Deftones album. The new Deftones album, Gore, is a very interesting album, to say the least, because whenever the singles were coming out before the album, it was Players and Triangles. I have a lot of Slash songs on here, Players and Triangles. The new singles were actually, they were all actually pretty good. I enjoyed them a lot. I was actually looking forward to this album. But when I actually kind of got into the album itself, it, um, it got kind of disappointing, to say the least, which is actually disappointing. Disappointing to be disappointing. It got kind of disappointing because when you get into the actual heart of the album, when you get, you know, when you get in those, you know, in the middle of the, of the, of the tracks, the album kind of gets boring and stale, so... And even before this album came out, Chino, the lead singer, and Stephen Carpenter, the guitarist, they kind of had a, I don't say a feud, but in press, Stephen said he really didn't want to even play on the album because he didn't like the direction that the, the music was going. And honestly, it kind of shows in this album because a lot of this, I mean, you do have some good songs like Hearts and Wires is good, Phantom Bride is good, Rubicon is good, the last two tracks, Phantom Bride and... Rubicon, they're really good, but like when you get in the middle, it's Heart and Wires is good too, but in a lot of the middle of of the album, those tracks are the band feels tired. I, I feel to me to the music, it feels like some of the band wanted to go this direction, but they and but others didn't, and they kind of just went along with it. Like Steven's like, yeah, whatever, I'm here, let me play, and that's kind of the the feel I got from it. Like they were tired, they just. Like, oh, we need to put out another album. Let's put out another album. They kind of feel like they were just going through the motions. Which, it's it's kind of sad because, I mean, now the album is good. It's not horrible, but it isn't great. It isn't like the last two albums. The last two albums, or even going back even going back to Diamond Eyes, they were all really good. They, you know, they had that Deftones feel and sound that, you know, we all come to expect. And that feel and sound is still here, but it's just kind of like... Well, that's the best way I can describe it. Yeah, it's here, it's good. Yeah, you got a new album, but it doesn't feel like it has any energy. It doesn't feel like they were like, yeah, let's make an album. They weren't very excited about it. Now, like I said, the songs are good. They're not horrible. But when I was listening to it, like, I got bored. It didn't really come out. It didn't really grasp me. It didn't really make me, you know, excited. I mean, it... it I was excited, but it, it, it died off, honestly. I mean, when, when I got to, you know, Fader by and Rubicon at the end, I was like, yeah, where was this the rest of the album? I don't know. I honestly think these guys need to take a break. They need to take some time off. They just need to chill out. And I don't know. They need to, I say regroup, but they're about to go back. You know, they're about to start up a tour and, you know, promote the album. I actually bought tickets to go see them when they come to my town, which is the first time I'm actually going to see them, which... I mean, I'm excited to see him. I don't know. There's there's some turbulence within that band that they definitely need to solve. Because, I mean, it obviously shows in the, the record. Now, what do you think about this album? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Do you think it's better or it's worse than the other albums they came out with before this? Let me know in the comments down below. As for me, I am out. Peace.